what's up y'all welcome back to my youtube channel so today i wanted to show y'all guys my sneaker collection if you're new here like comment subscribe before we even get into anything and i just wanted to show y'all guys and talk about the shoes and i also want to do a video reminiscing on sneakers that i had growing up i feel like that'd be a cool video and i'll make it like interesting and stuff so make sure you want to look out for that video coming up soon and yes yeah, so let's get into the video and let's start so we're gonna start off with something easy and mind you i didn't clean off none of my shoes like i should have i should have cleaned my shoes off before i show y'all them so if they dirty a little bit please excuse me it is what it is like so we got the louis these are still in perfect condition i got these in like 10th grade like literally and my mama bought me these and yeah first shoe is the Louis imprints perfect condition okay Louis be the only thing that can check me that's what I was saying when I wore these because I, I was feeling myself and yeah it's a collectible as well so Louis check we also have now these shoes I got for my 21st birthday and I only wore them one time, like literally, I only wore them for my birthday, but I'm never selling these shoes. These shoes will be with me forever because I'm never giving them away. I'm never like, no, these are my shoes. Like I bought these and they sh they got shipped all the way from Germany. And uh, yes, this is my favorite shoe. Like I got in my collection, honestly, like Margella Futures and you know, I really started something with this. Like I feel like I was like the first person to bring these shoes back out into like real life because because my my vision for my 21st birthday was like 2014 era, like 2014 drip, and I just these was just in my head. So I'm like, I gotta you know, I gotta get these. Like these shoes got shipped all the way from Germany, and I'm so grateful for them. I'm so appreciative and. I like it a lot. I'm very appreciative. Thanks, babe. Yeah, I only wore them one time. I want to get them off again, but it got to be the right time. And yeah, how y'all feel about them? This was like very like my style, like Mari. Like this is a Mari type shoe. So yeah. my next shoe is I got these for my 19th birthday and i feel like this is a staple shoe like everyone needs this like i feel like this is a fashion this is a fashion boy shoe like if you a fashion boy you gotta have a cloud thunder what they call it again a thunder clouds or something like and then they so lightweight actually like they look heavy but they actually so lightweight and like way like the balenciaga track runners they don't feel like that like these are so lightweight so comfortable and i fuck with these shoes and they go with everything and like anytime you wear them you're just gonna be like iconic because it's like you know so yeah. my next shoe is some chill shit i wear these a couple times some dunks you know cool little vibe i was gonna go and get on my dunk wave before like everybody started on it so i had got these i was gonna start but then everybody just started wearing dunks i'm like i only got one pair so but they still cool i still rock dunks i still fuck with the dunks i about you know they get wrinkled a lot and that's i don't like that like the wrinkling in them but it's cool how y'all doing today how y'all feeling i hope everybody's in a great mood i hope y'all having a good day i hope y'all staying happy staying positive and working towards your goals and yeah shout out to y'all i hope y'all enjoying the video and if you are please subscribe and like the video for me and thank y'all for everyone watching and this is my next shoe i love this shoe it's really iconic and like it just it's a vibe like very like staple you know like when you they see you in these they know like bitch stop playing with me like stop playing but i don't like this part like these parts is they fall off so easily like the thread that they put on these shoes is, for the orange part it's like very like light so this part could fall off easily and i don't like that and i had to like re-thread the orange thing back on here so 
That's the only downfall about the, those shoes, but I still really, like, I'm an off-white boy, so. And I really appreciate these shoes because, you know, these I got these before Virgil, and you know, I really fuck with Virgil, so. Yeah, like, rest in peace, Virgil. And, yeah, oh my God, what happened to Virgil? Like, Virgil was my guy. My next shoes, which is pretty dirty, is... You know, I don't really, I forgot the name of these shoes, but it's a vibe. Also, another, another iconic shoe, like, come on now, stop playing with me. I really wear, don't wear these anymore like that, but it's still a great shoe. Like, still very cool, still very, you know, iconic. My next shoe is, which I think it is. My next shoe is, I really don't even know the name of my shoes, for real. I wish I did, or I wish. But basically, it's the Nike Off-White Dunk, you know? Another classic, another vibe, stop playing with me. I really try to get like timeless pieces, so like, you know, I can always wear them. They're always gonna be a vibe, no matter when I pull them out, so. That's the next one. And these shoes, the, my next shoe, I mean, that's that one. This next one, and yeah, I only wear these shoes one time, and I don't know if I'll ever wear them again, but, and they kinda dirty. I only wore them one time. It's the Adidas Shine Witherspoon, you know. I like these shoes, but everybody started wearing them, and it kinda like turned me off from them. And then it kind of get dirty. You see how the like strings got dirty and stuff. But they still a vibe. They still a vibe. I wore them one time and yeah, I like them. I like Sean with his spoon. I like his what he doing, his whole thing, his cool. So I support. My next shoe is voila. It's like no, but you know, classic. Red bottom, spikes on them. It's like, no. <laughs> ah, red bottom, spikes on them. Stop playing with me. But yeah, it's a vibe. It's a vibe all the time, you know. Timeless. Always gonna be a vibe whenever you pop, whenever you pull them out. And yeah. One of my spikes missing on this shoe, and I'm so upset about it, I gotta order it, order it. So, yeah, we gotta get that fixed. Like, I don't play about that type of shit, so we gotta get this fixed, like, immediately. And if you were working for me, you would be fired immediately. My next shoe is another classic. We got the Jordan 4 Retro Breads, you know the vibes. This is a classic. If you don't got these, go run and get them now because you need these in your closet. You need these right here. You need these in your closet. If you feel like you wear sneakers and you that boy, you should have these in your closet. Like, everybody need these. So, yeah. And mind you, I paid $642 for these. Like, no shade. I don't know how, I don't know why, but yeah, go get them. Don't play them. Next! My next shoe is some 500, the purple 500s. This is a vibe because I never really wore like colorful shoes for real. So this was like my first like colorful shoe and it's a vibe, like I'll fuck with them. Yeezy, you know, another like, you gonna get some looks off these shoes, like another vibe shoe, you know? But still like, you wearable. So it's not like too overdoing, you know? But it's still cool, so. Yeah, I like these shoes. How y'all feel about them? They is a little small, so I took the soul out of them. But I still fuck with them, so. Uh, 
Okay guys, so my next shoe, I actually wore these for my, I wore these shoes for my 17th birthday. And they dirty, but they got dust on them. But they're still cool, off-white. Okay, who, I was, I was, I was copping off white at 17, like, no cap. Like, I'm true to this, not new to this, like, yeah. Off whites, off white kicks. I fuck with off white, like, I fucked with off white back in the day. Like, I probably wouldn't buy no off white shoes now, but like, when Virgil was like creative designer, I was like, off white boy. So, yeah. My next shoe. I'm gonna save this one. My next shoe is. <laughs> Ricks. How y'all feel about these? These are a vibe. I start. I got these before like everybody started hopping on the Rick train. Like right before everybody started hopping on the Rick train, I got these. And yeah. Okay. Only nigga in the hood with the Ricks back in the day. Don't play with me. And I got all my. <laughs> I got all my tickets in this shoebox. That's so funny. In the essence. I don't know what this is from, but my next shoe is something cool. This this shoe is dirty. I need to wash them, but I fuck with these shoes. Like they're so like plain. It's a slip on. It's North Face Supreme, and these shoes. I get compliments on these shoes a lot, but I had these shoes for so long and I never wore them until this winter, bro. These shoes are so insulated. Like I. I would truly recommend these shoes. Like they're very insulated and I'm from Detroit. So we usually get a lot of snow in the winter and I was wearing these in the snow this winter and I didn't feel nothing. Like I didn't feel nothing. This has become like my favorite go-to shoe. Like I wear this shoe everywhere. Like this is my favorite shoe for like no cap. I need to invest in some more in a different style. But like, yeah. How y'all feel about them? It's kind of different like the rhinestones, you know, it's cool though. Now, my next shoe, I haven't worn these shoes yet, but I'm planning on wearing them soon. And here they are, it's the platform Ricks. I was very inspired by Mariah the Scientist. I'm gonna put a picture in it right here somewhere, but yeah, she wore these shoes and I just been wanting these shoes ever since then. And I was gonna get these shoes when I ordered the first Ricks before, like when they first came out. Like when I well, when I said I was about to, when I said I ordered those shoes before everybody got them, I was gonna order these ones, but I ended up getting the burgundy ones. So then I had to like double back and get these this year and I still haven't worn them yet, but I can't wait to wear them. Cause I just know it's gonna be like my everyday staple shoe. And it's a very cool shoe. like. It's like a regular rig, but a platform, you know? So it's like, it give you that extra oomph to your shit. So I fuck with them, man. I love stars and I have a star on it. And yeah, Mariah the Scientist definitely inspired me to get these. So shout out to you, homegirl. My next shoe is... My Balenciagas track runners. I haven't worn these shoes in a long time and I really dread wearing these shoes because they are so fucking heavy. Like, why did they make these shoes really that heavy? Like I told y'all, like when I wear my Pradas, I, it, they're so lightweight. This shoe is really as heavy as it looks. My Pradas are not like that, so, but I don't really wear these shoes like that. I changed the laces in this shoe. And it kind of gives it a little contrast. I like that and I'm gonna wear them like this. I haven't wore them in a while but how y'all like these pretty cool right off white like i like the different color whites and you know it gives me that yeezy kanye west vibe 
Kim Kardashian, like, you know, like that kind of vibe. It's like, no. My next shoe, I have never worn these shoes, and I don't know when I'm wearing these shoes, but I just feel like I can't wear these shoes in Detroit. Like, I gotta wear these shoes, like, in New York or something. Like, I wanna go to New York and wear these shoes. But I got these Ghani boots. I was very inspired by Kanye West, you know, when he was like wearing those big boots and like jogging suits and stuff. This is when I ordered them. I had these shoes for like a year and I still haven't worn them yet, but they are so cunt. Like, it gives cunt. Like, how could you not say cunt? Let me show y'all how they look on. And y'all tell me if y'all like these shoes. Cause I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm kind of in between with them, but. So yeah, that's basically the end of this video. And thank you if you stay to the end. I'm so appreciative of everyone. And please subscribe, guys. I'm a new YouTuber. And I really appreciate everyone who subscribes to me and shows my channel love. And thank y'all for everything. Thank y'all for staying to the end of the video. Thank y'all for supporting me. Thank y'all for vibing out with me today. And you know, I hope I showed y'all some cool pieces and something that you might want to add to your list of buying. And yeah. Just when you do it, just don't forget that Mari told you first, okay? Mari told you that. Don't forget me. Like, we all wear them. Don't forget that I told y'all to get them. But yeah, hope y'all having a good day. Hope everything is everything for you. And yeah, I ain't doing nothing. I'm chilling, bobbing. And yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this video. And please subscribe and... Thank y'all for everything and 